Hello, this is Titus Green with AskMrKit.com. I'm going to give you a walkthrough today on how to check if your computer is missing drivers. Missing drivers would explain why a certain device or computer is not working. Say, like a card reader, or maybe a disk drive, or maybe even a wireless card. A driver is a language pack from the manufacturer of the specific part to be installed on your computer so the rest of your computer can understand what that component is saying. An example being a wireless card will not work or pick up wireless until you actually install the driver that allows your computer to understand how that wireless adapter talks. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. This is a Windows 7 based machine. I will be doing a video on Windows XP. It will be located in the XP section of the videos. So first off, we'd like to start at, at the start button in the bottom left corner. Your Windows 7 may look a little different from mine. I keep it simple. Um, you click that start button. This will show different programs that you have installed. Um, you would then select computer, but you want to actually right click it. You want to click it with the button furthest to the right that will bring up the options. Now the options here, you're going to see open, manage, map network drive, Disc disconnect network drive, show on desktop, rename, and properties. To get into the inner workings or understand how the computer is working, you'd want to go to the properties of the computer. Now you're just going to want to regular click this, and this is actually going to bring you to a summary of your entire computer. This is saying it's a Windows 7 Ultimate Machine, 5.1 in the Windows Experience rating, my processor, my amount of memory, the type of operating system I'm running, and the name of my computer. So this is also useful to share information on what kind of computer or what kind of settings you're running. Um, the, the option we're looking for is Device Manager because that's that shows what devices you'd like to manage. Um, on the left side we see Control Panel Home and Device Manager along with some other settings that are not going over in this video. Device Manager is what we want to click on. And this actually shows you all devi the devices installed on your computer. On the, you would see your card reader here, you would see some USB devices, <laughs> keyboards, mice, monitors, plug and play. The monitors do have a driver as well. Network dr devices, this is my LAN card, so I can connect to my internet. Portable devices, no real portable devices. Processor, um, video card listed here. And if, if you were to see any type of yellow exclamation point maybe next to these devices in this area here that would inform me that there is either a problem with the driver or the driver is not installed at all um, at that point you just want to go to the manufacturers website and always under the support tab it shows you drivers you click and select what type of computer you have say you're running a Dell Dimension 2700 you'd want to go to Dell's website And we're going to go for home. Support and services. And, and it says drivers. What Dell does, they have a cool little tab that will actually allow you to input the service tag, which is located on the back of the computer. And it will give you every driver that you specifically need. Um, we, we're not going to use that, that specific utility. We're going to choose from a list of Dell products. So we'll say it's a desktop, for example. We're going to say it's a dimension. Say it's a, I said 2700, I believe. So, unless there's not a 2700, we'll just go ahead and say 3000. It should have a picture of your computer. And this is actually the drivers here. Um, an example being um, video drivers. Video would be located here. So, it has the Intel video driver because it is an Intel based chipset. You would want to download the file here. Um, you would want a, a single file download and once that actually finished you would open it and it would install that device. It may require your computer to restart but that would be installing the driver as well. Thank you very much and please feel free to browse our videos on AskMrKit.com. Thank you. Hey Shane. Fix it for free. Oh, you're fucking